Hello everybody, welcome back to Easy Call. This is Eric and in today's video I will show you how to get started if you just want to sign up through the website. In order to get started, let's just click the get started for free button. Next, you can either log in to your existing account or create a new account. I'm going to assume that you don't have any account exist, so I'm just going to create a new account. Just fill in your personal details and choose a password. And I'll click create my account. Perfect. Now that I've registered, let's get into my email and just click the confirmation button to activate my account. And here is my confirmation email. I'm just going to confirm my email. The next step would be to log into my new account and sign in. Great. Now, since this is a new account, I'm going to need to create a space. So first of all, I'm going to give this space a name. We can call it easy call test and we'll give it the same name for the subdomain and just create a new space. Now that I've created a space, the next step would be to pick a plan. You can go through the plans and just pick the one that is relevant for you. If you are just a small business, you can start with our pay as you go plan where you only pay for what you use based on calls and based on phone numbers. I'm just going to select the growth plan because this is the one that is the most beneficial for my business. Next, you'll have to just insert your payment details. You can pay via credit card or PayPal. And this is it. I am now subscribed to the growth plan. Once you've selected the plan and updated your payment details, you will be redirected to this page where you can select whether to create a call widget or a phone number. For the sake of the example, I'm just going to select a phone number. You can always get back to create a widget later. In order to create my first phone number, I just need to select a country in which I want to issue the phone number. I'm just going to select the United States. Next, for the region, I'm just going to select Arizona and I'm going to hit find number. This is it. This is the phone number I got. I can click find number again to refresh the phone number and maybe find a number I like better. As you can see, the monthly price for a US phone number is $2 a month. Now I'm just going to hit next. The next step would be operating hours. In this stage, I can select whenever this phone number is going to be active and when it's going to go directly to voicemail. By default, it's set to always. You can select specific times, days and hours according to specific time zone. And you can select when connected agents are available, which means that if you have multiple agents, as long as at least one of them is connected, the phone number is going to be active and available. I'm just going to keep it at always for now. The next step would be your voicemail recording. You can either upload an audio file or you can just use a voice transcript. For example, this is my voicemail. Let's see how it sounds like. This is my voicemail. Perfect. Moving on to the next step. Call forwarding. This is where we select which agents or departments we want this phone number to be connected with. Since I just signed up and I don't have any agents yet, I can only see myself under this list. If I had multiple agents, I would see them below and if I had any departments, I would see them right here. For now, I'm just going to select myself and move on to the next step. The final step will be to give this phone number a name. We can call it customer support and you can choose the call timeout, which means that if after this amount of seconds, the call was not answered by any of your agents, it's automatically going to be forwarded to your voicemail. I'm just going to keep it at 120 and then just click create a number. This is it. Once you're done, you can either create a widget or just move on to the dashboard. I'm just going to do it later. And as you can see, I've been redirected to my dashboard on the phone numbers page. I can see that this is my phone number. If anyone is going to call this number, I'm going to get these calls directly to this dashboard. Now, let's talk about how to actually make a call from this number. Let's just click on make a call. It's important to mention that in order to make outgoing calls, you'll have to first verify your own phone number. So let's just do it right now. And I'm going to receive an SMS with a code that's going to verify my phone number. And my phone number is now verified. Now, when I'm going to click the make call button again, I'm going to see this dashboard where I can select which number I want to call from. Right now, we only have one number and then the number I want to call to. Now, I can use my own number or any other phone number. And once I selected the number, obviously, this is an international call, so it's going to cost a little bit more. But if I look at the bottom of this dashboard, I'm going to be able to see the price per minute for this call. I'm going to hit call. The call is going to get started and I can hang up call directly from here. After 
after a call has been registered, if I head over to calls, I'm going to be able to see exactly which call got out of which number, the direction of the call, and I'm going to be able to see the duration, status of the call, and if there are any call recordings or voicemails and the price, everything is going to show up on the call screen. Now let's move on to agents and departments. Let's say that you have multiple departments in your business. Let's say that you have a sales department and a support department. You can create those by heading over to departments, add the department, and then you need to give it a name, let's say sales, description, and then add an agent to this department. Let's say that I'm not a part of the sales department, I'm just gonna create it and keep it empty. Let's create another department for support. Let's say that I am a part of this department, I'm just gonna hit create, and now you can see that I have two departments and in one of them I am the available agent. You can click here to either edit or delete departments. The next step would be to add an agent to the sales department. Let me just add another agent. Now I need to select his email and I need to select in which apartment is going to be available. Let's say that this agent is going to be in both sales and support departments and I'm just gonna send an invite. Perfect, now you can see that I have another agent under two departments and his status is pending. Once he's going to accept my invite, it's going to become either online or offline, but it's going to be approved. And this is it, you now have two departments, two agents, and one phone number you can use to receive and make calls for your business. If you wish to learn more about using EasyCall, you can always head over to our YouTube channel or you can reach out to our live chat support at the bottom left corner of the screen. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next video.